Greetings Lens participants, I'm Dillis Williams, I'm Professor of Fashion Design for Sustainability at University of the Arts London and Director of its Centre for Sustainable Fashion. I'm delighted to be here with you today to share some of the findings from my research paper submitted to Lens 2019, Fashion Design for Sustainability, a Framework for Participatory Practice. The paper describes research that I've developed over an extended time span, exploring participatory methods of transformation design for application in fashion education and professional practice settings. The research is based on the premise that in order for us to recognise our interdependencies as humans in the natural world, new ways of knowing, making and learning to live together must be formed. This shift from dominant worldviews of control over nature towards coexistence within it involves us all having critical reflection on our intentions, habits and practices at personal, societal and species levels. So the research looks at how participants from across a spectrum of engagement, different roles, circumstances and locations can collectively invert the current fashion system from one that exacerbates relation, in, relationship inequalities to one that honours our interdependencies. Through an iterative process of learning through doing, the framework has been created to develop change in self and thus change in actions and products developed. It offers a substantially different approach from those predicated on sustainability in product, material and business-centred terms. The framework has been developed and applied through a reflexive process, identifying challenges and opportunities of connecting and relating such pragmatic product-based outcomes with the vital values-led decision-making processes that are involved. It offers an emergent, iterative, beta-level framework for diverse participants to be the critically needed radical change to the fashion system by creating the, the framework's development as it goes along. Fashion design for sustainability connects our values, visions, practices and capabilities for all of those involved in the elements that make up our attire. Worn on the body, representing our identity, time, culture and much more, fashion is a highly visible and distinctive way in which we show our relationship with each other and with nature. The fashion industry seeks to sustain, however, its economic prosperity by reducing its environmental and social concerns. Hardly surprising, uh, considering its huge financial and economic imperatives. The framework, however, draws on a definition of prosperity that broadens out fashion's ambition. To encompass prosperity is the capabilities that people have to flourish within the resource constraints of a finite planet. This involves a recalibration of what it means for individuals and organisations to exist within society and for society to exist within the environment. There's a clear tension between those seeking to sustain the current fashion system in economic terms within the wider macroeconomic uh, considerations that are involved with the economy at the centre of those nested systems and those who explore fashion from a nature and equity paradigm. However, in order for us to learn to live well together, we must all engage in the transformation of our current anthropocentric behaviours and look for ways in which we can all do this. So the framework embraces this tension. It learns from 10 years of engaging in a diverse range with a diverse range of people who study and work in fashion across a range of scales and locations. This diversity has been stretched recently through an iteration of the framework that has been part of an online course called Luxury Fashion in a Changing World. This has engaged more than 20,000 learners from 151 countries to date, from undergraduate students to high, those working in high profile fashion maison. So the framework embraces an exploration and understanding of design as personal and professional actions and interactions of nature and labour. Thus, fashion pieces exist partly in relation to climate and partly in relation to our social worlds and mediate both of these together. Fashion pieces configure our relationships. Designing is an agent of that configuration. And the framework therefore supports development of sustainability-led selves and sustainability-led product, service and systems through design practices. Designing can cast ideas about who we are and how we should behave into permanent and tangible forms. This is very important as it offers displays of the designer's actions and relationships decided through the decision making that is based on a combination of values and access to knowledge and trusted information. 
The ambition was and remains to put support those designing in professional and non-professional uh, capacities to contribute to this wider notion of sustainability. To undertake such an expansion in thinking and practice requires a navigation system that embraces fashion's multifarious dimensions. So the framework is developed to bridge the gap between an ecological paradigm and the current state of things, so it could relate to a spectrum of circumstances, roles and timescales. This learning through doing has involved creating feedback loops through enabling a gathering of qualitative data via semi-structured face-to-face interviews, focus groups, longitudinal studies and participant reflections to look at this values-led, knowledge-based approach to transform both the process and products of designing. The framework draws on seven pedagogic principles developed and adapted by myself, working with my colleague Nina Stevenson at Centre for Sustainable Fashion, referencing the wider principles of education for sustainability. The framework is a consolidation of the learning from this extended research process into a more shareable form. It has been tested in educational professional settings with designers, product developers, buyers and technicians and reviewed for validity and usability. By engaging in the framework process, participants look at listening, defining, ideating, prototyping and reflecting on fashion designing in a sustainability context. It starts with the considerations of fashion's macro context. This includes a questioning of the errors of modernity perpetuated through the techno-optimistic, eco-efficiency approach. It prompts engagement in a reappraisal of personal and wider human values in today's society, a consideration of value, meaning and connection in socio-cultural terms. Once reflections have been taken on this context of designing, they are then applied into a set of four critical cross-cutting agendas. These are mapped out and overlaid with personal experience and interests to identify what participants can directly and indirectly affect. Culture is one of these agendas and is particularly critical in terms of its leverage in fashion. Fashion makes a distinctive contribution, including shaping socially accepted practices and habits. In the order to look at the four cross-cutting agendas, it is essential that all of these different elements are looked at in the whole. Following the exploration of these wider systemic elements in, des in designing, participants then approach current urgent issues, identified in the framework, as you will see. Whilst presenting themselves as critical considerations, they are seen as symptoms rather than the underlying causes of our current vulnerabilities. By introducing issues as symptoms, the focus is switched from fixing problems to exploring possibilities that dissolve or resolve our current issues. Learning from previous research of the overwhelm that can be felt by taking on sustainability thinking, through developing and leading an MA course, through working with undergraduate students and professional designers in industry, in large and small establishments, it felt really important to be able to consider how these approaches could be uh, taken forward. So a range of mindsets were developed through review of this work so that each mindset could be linked to methods and practices that somebody could espouse or try out with the idea that, that people could involve themselves in one or more mindsets. So the framework is only useful if it can contribute to change. So we've tested it out with our own students, with design teams in the UK, and more recently, we really wanted to be able to open up the framework to a broader audience and elicit feedback from those wider constituents in the fashion system who we may not be able to naturally speak to or see. So we adapted the, the work into a massive open online course called a MOOC. Um, and changes were made to the usual sort of transmissive attendancy of this format. We wanted to embed multi-directional dialogues through discussion threads, Padlet boards, live debates, and we also encouraged uh, participants to take activities offline into their local geographically in, uh, based environments and, and uh, communities. And discussion threads were, are open on every stage of the course, enabling two-way listening and participation by tutors and participants alike. And data has been gathered from anonymised responses to questions regarding change in self and practice, and this has enabled us to gain a rich understanding of this values-led 
knowledge-based approach. Thematic analysis of the data from the first two runs of the course has identified four themes, shared here and exemplified by representative evidence. The first theme is around engaging, envisioning, being a way to open up avenues for creativity. The responses, evidence and expanding of the role of fashion designing beyond that of creating and acquiring and selling goods towards a facilitating of prosperity in broader terms. This expansion of the definition of designing and of prosperity beyond a narrow focus on economic gain evidences a deep questioning, not only of the fashion system, but of wider social infrastructures. It also suggests participants are starting to imagine ways to create change using fashion as a conduit and location of change and using uh, sustainability as a means to expand creativity and creative thinking. The second theme is around exploring values as a means to as a means. The second theme is about exploring values and how they act as a means for decision making. In the course, learners reflect on personal and professional values combined with new knowledge. Questions here relate to values as judgments based on a notion of what is positive and what is negative. Responses evidence a clear, unequivocal rejection of elements of fashion identified as negative and personal alignment with elements identified as positive. Theme three is about sustainability practices involving letting go of some control. The framework process starts with the meta context of fashion and then offers practical undertakings at personal scale to consider possibilities at micro scale. The findings from the responses reveal that this process of acknowledging elements within and beyond our direct control is important to grasp. The fourth theme is around developing capabilities in self and in others. The framework related activities in the course connect participants through conversation, through group assignments, through peer evaluation and a sharing of visual and text-based materials. The findings from feedback evidence capabilities of cooperation, openness and honesty about not knowing, as well as the sharing of, of capabilities, um, uh, contributions and finished outcomes. The data suggests an acknowledgement of the importance of such capabilities. And by engaging in a series of feedback loops between values and actions, it suggests that participants are finding their own ways through complex and sometimes uncomfortable considerations. Thus, they develop self-assurance and acknowledgement of the contribution of others. To live well within biophysical limits and to reduce the wealth poverty gap in and through fashion, we need to deeply change our own behaviour and enable greater equity within our communities and societies. We need to realign ourselves in a more balanced interaction in nature, the life system with which we are a part. This framework has evidence of ways in which people are starting to take their own ways and, and means to do this. Through a post-course survey, we sought to establish the extent to which engagement in the framework could evidence change in personal perspective and professional practice. The results are very encouraging, with strong evidence in each aspect. This amplifies our ambition to further de develop and apply this framework with others, whilst also acknowledging its limitations. Whilst there is evidence here of positively changing education and professional practice, there is a wider challenge between an ecological equity-based participatory model and the increasingly mechanistic growth-driven focus in both education and business practice. So this framework must be at once inclusive and decisive. It cannot compromise on its aim whilst understanding the tension that it holds and seeking to engage a range of participants from different circumstances in different roles in different locations. There is evidence that this framework is broadening fashion's possibilities, making contributions to the field of fashion design for sustainability alongside those of many others in their activities, approaches and discussions. And together we can form a sense of what isn't and yet could be. And it is only through sharing what we've done and listening to others here at Lens and elsewhere that designing beyond an anthropocentric myopic view can be expanded. 
it is vital to bring these intentions into actions by creating ways in which we can enable people to make things happen. So through frameworks, through stories and a myriad of other techniques and approaches. Findings from this research indicate that the definition of prosperity outlined at its start is within our grasp. We, as agents and actors, make ourselves in the world that makes us. And in so doing, we contribute to the making of a world that makes others. This will only be realised if and when we create and share ways of knowing, doing, making and learning to live together in the world. Thank you.